Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble an ASUS model G751J. So first what you want to do um, is remove the little rubber pieces from all these little holes. Um, I found the easiest way is if you have a needle like this, um, you just bend the tip with some pliers and then that way when you poke it, it kind of can grab those things. So you just grab all of those rubber pieces out and remove them. Make sure not to mix them up because they're different sizes and different shapes. After that, you want to remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So once you remove all those screws, um, you want to pop this piece up here um, and then undo this screw. The screw will stay in the plastic piece. But once you do that, you can actually pull on this um, rubber piece and you can pop it out. I already pre-popped everything out to make it easier to show. But basically you pull on that and then you just go around the edges and pop up the rest of the clips. After you do that, you want to remove all the screws from the in here. So I already removed all the screws. But um, you know, this screw is holding in the CD drive. Once you remove that screw, you can actually go on the edge of the CD drive here. And then you can pull this out okay once you pull that out um, there's three more screws you want to remove under here so remove those three and then there'll be um, four screws holding in this hard drive once you do that you can actually pull this out and then set it aside then you got um, four screws holding this little tray for the um, M.2 SSD. This is a PCIe NVMe SSD. So once you remove those four, you can actually lift this at an angle, slight angle, and then kind of wiggle it to pull it out. Okay. And remove the whole tray. That way you don't have to like undo all this um, thermal pads and everything. Okay. All right. And this, pretty sure this is NVMe, but you can double check. Okay. Then you got the RAM here. So as you can see, this is DDR3, here you go, PC3 12800S, okay, you don't need to remove the RAM, I'm just taking it out just to show you what type of RAM it is, okay. So after you do all of that, you want to take the rest of the screws out, so there's one, another screw here, and you got another screw here, here, and then I believe that's all the screws that you got to remove from here. So once you get all those screws out, then you can flip it over. All right. All right. Then you can see from this side, um, you want to get your fingernails or a pry tool along the edges here, and you can kind of just pull on it. Okay. Same thing with this. Don't pull too hard because there's a connection underneath, but pull this. And then once you get that out, I'll show you here. Um, but once you get that out, um, I already disconnected it, but there's the speaker cable connected here okay so basically you'll have to kind of get your fingers between the two parts while you're holding it and then kind of pull it apart okay and then that's that once you get that out then you open the screen all the way so this design's kind of stupid because the battery connector is underneath you can't take the battery until you take the whole piece out but basically what you want to do is tilt it up and then you'll need a pry tool or your fingernails and you'll just go along the whole edges here um, and you just go all around and you pop it all around the easiest way is kind of you pull on the shell while you're kind of pulling this out and be careful because there's lots of connections under here I'll try and show you um, let's see here so as you can see I already disconnected them but you can see there's the backlight cable here, the keyboard cable here, um, I believe that's the LED cable or the touch but the trackpad buttons and then the trackpad cable. So you'll have to, let me see if I can show you this, I'm going to take the panel off now since I disconnected all of those. To remove that you basically have to hold it up at an angle and then kind of wiggle it. I don't know what's in camera because the camera is too high up but yeah that's pretty much what you do. So you can see here, the power button is actually part of, uh, or it's not part of the motherboard, but it's on a separate board attached to the motherboard. So this is just a plastic cover. Okay, you can see the trackpad, the trackpad buttons here. All right, so I'll set that aside. All right, 
And then once you do that, there's the battery connector here. So just like with every other connector like this, you just go from the corners, the edges where it has the extended parts and you just use your nails and wiggle it. If you can't do that, you can kind of grab the back here and kind of wiggle it, but don't just be careful. You don't break this. Okay. Once you do that, the power button is actually this little golden looking circle. So you can actually hold that button down to drain any additional power remaining. Um, and then I'm not going to show everything else because the main purpose of taking this apart is to remove the screen for my customer and to remove the screen actually, um, once you disconnect the battery and drain it um, and you remove the speaker part on the back here, you can actually see there's these little plastic covers. There will be plastic covers covering these screws here. Um, and same thing, you can use the needle. And since the circle extends, let me see, since the circle around the screw extends all the way to the edge, what you do is you poke into the, like the center at the top or the bottom here, and then you just pry it up. You're going to bend the, like make little holes in the plastic, but it's okay. They're just cosmetic. So you just bend that and pop those out and then remove all four screws. Once you remove four, the four screws, you can remove the frame. So I'm not going to show the whole process because it's like, every other screen replacement thing but basically um, you'll go around the frame and you can pull on the frame this one they kind of broke it but yeah basically you pull from the middle of the frame the inside the inside edge and then you kind of like if you can slide your nail or a pry tool along the edge to kind of help it I like to use my nail because then I can help give it like a twisting force while I'm doing that I didn't remove the screws yet but I'm just gonna basically give you an idea so basically you would do that all the way around all the edges and then you can pop the frame out and then most likely there'll be all the screws under there you can remove to get the screen out um, then the only other stuff left let me see i'll give you a close-up view so you get the connector here for this usb board that goes to the motherboard you got the fan here with the two screws Got the wireless card here, the antennas, that, as usual, you just pull from the back tail and it'll pull at an angle and it'll pop out. And then to put it back, you just pop them back down. All right, what else? LCD cable here, the other fan connector here. Uh, let's see here, what is this for? J3701, I'm not sure what that is. This might be, because um, it goes up to the screen. Or actually, this goes to, I believe, the the speaker cable behind it uh, okay and then as you can see there's the power button here you can take this screw out and then you can actually pull this whole thing up to remove the DC jack and the power button um, and you'll have to take the screen out I believe to take this off like not not completely the screen not the LCD out but you'll have to undo all these screws here to get the hinges out and then you can actually take the whole display assembly out but you'll have to disconnect the wireless antennas and then also this cable to take the screen out okay then there's two more sticks of ram under here you got the connector going here for the sd card slot and then you got some more speakers here connecting to this and i think that's pretty much it yep yeah, that's pretty much it and the battery of course to remove it i believe there are screws on this yeah, you have to take the whole motherboard out. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thanks for watching.